looking at in what context? Nachmas is for what? Moral. No. Lumbosacral or SI? So all I'm doing, it's structural. So all I'm going to do is this. They go, ah. I say, where? Point. My back. Okay? So they're pointing, going to point somewhere down in the, usually in the lumbosacral area or in over the SI area. That's just straight noculus. Okay? If I do a straight Eli's, I'm going to take them out of noculus. I'm going to cross it over and I'm going to roll the heel up to the opposite buttock, and I'm still looking for lumbosacral or SI stuff. Now this may, may relieve some of the SI stuff because of the external rotation of the femur, okay? <clears throat> so, prone knee bend, it looks like noculus, but now I'm looking at it in context of a high root lesion. High roots are L2, L3, L4, feeding the femoral nerve in the front. So it's a nerve tension sign for the front of the thigh. Everything else we've been doing, everything else we've been doing is what? Slump, SLR, Lasag, all of those was a nerve tension sign for the sciatic nerve, basically, okay? And that's lower root levels, 4, 5, S1 primarily. Okay, so there's always a bit of overlap at four. Four doesn't, like I said in class, it doesn't seem to move a whole lot, okay? So, as a prone knee bend, I wanna know if they have any reproduction, okay, or exacerbation of that burning, tingling pins and needles down the front of the thigh, okay? It looks just like Nocla, but it's a different contextual reference, all right? Now, to amplify that a little bit, if I still think that's a problem, I will do Eli's. And hyperextend it. <laughs> okay? And I'll fix the pelvis usually with my opposite elbow. And when I do that, I'm looking at in context of femoral nerve. Okay? So make sure you get those straight because 